know, the idols live in the special Idol HQ. It's a secret location that will be their home away from home while they're part of the show. And this week was the first time that the top ten were in the house together. And it was a very special first night in more ways than one. Their first dinner together was a Mac attack of epic proportions. But little did the idols know that the highlight of the night came in the form of Australian Idol winner, Guy Sebastian. <laughs> How you going? How you going, Eddie? Nice to meet you, man. <laughs> Robert. Oh, man, I'm not like on a panel or something. Yeah, brother. So, how is it? Uh, Sorry, um, pretty crazy. Yeah. I'm dying to hear you all. I've only heard, because I got here Sunday, so I, I watched you guys, and you were my three picks as well. I picked you through. I was singing. Give me the people. The whole night, man. The whole night. It was really good. You're like, you remind me of Shannon. Yeah. Hey, I am the shit of the I've got a bit of effort in Despite the light-hearted atmosphere, the idols wanted some tough questions answered. Did you use any like computerized on your lips and stuff? Oh, just the look at the end of Angels Want Me Here. I was buzzing out over that for ages. I didn't really notice it hard out until yeah, like I listened to it about 300 times. Yeah. And then um Are you like, oh, 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 Guy, you've been in this situation before, and I, I just want you to tell sort of these guys what they can expect from living in this house. You can always, already sort of feel a, a feeling of bonding. You know, what was it like for you in the house? Total opposite. We hated each other. Like, no, I'm not joking. We really... Oh, no, I'm joking. No, it was really... You get close real quick. Because, I mean, you're, mm. you're ripped away from your family. Like, you all sort of do different stuff and, and all new stuff and, and stuff you've never done before. And so it's really nerve-wracking. So it, you got each other and... Now, that's pretty much it. Definitely remain ultra humble. Because, you know, after this, you could go home and in, and in two weeks, no one... No one cares. Like, no one cares. So you really got to stay grounded. Like, keep in touch with your mates and your family and stuff and don't ever lose that whole side of reality because it's all real. And when you get out, you realise how superficial stuff is. You got to keep what really matters really close to your heart because otherwise you just, you go insane. And, and so, yeah, I think really stay grounded. It's the most important thing. And also, totally be yourselves. Like, with your music, right, if you want to make it epic and a really, a really, um, a something which is memorable, um, really go for moments. Like, big notes get votes, you know, mm. like that was a little saying that was going around. It's, you, you'd hit a key, it doesn't even have to be a high note, yeah, that's out of your reach. You're always going to sing within yourself, but like we do a key change in the crowd and you do a key change, it's like, mm. ah! <laughs> it's just automatic. <laughs> you know, but with your songs. You really need to play with people's emotions when they're watching. They're sort of waiting for you to build up and so that they can go, oh. you know, it's mm. that tingly feeling. Music is all about dynamics and, and creating that tingly feeling. And the perfect way to end the evening was a group jam session. One, one.